Hey guys and welcome to my new video of the series OSCP preparation. To get, today we're going to take a look at uh, Netmon from Hack the Box. Uh, Netmon was a Windows machine. Uh, yeah, difficulty 30.2, so kind of easy. And it required a very interesting exploit on PRTG administration panel. I'll show you how I did it. So, sorry. <laughs> Uh, here I ran nmap to see the open ports. See, as you can see, it has port 21 for FTP with anonymous login allowed, port 80, HTTP, port 1, 135 and 139. Uh, these are regarded to the Samba. Uh, these are regarded, yeah, these are regarding to the Samba that is running on 445. Another HTTP on 5985. And another HTTP on four seven zero zero one, which uh, I haven't got any use for them, so they were kind of useless. All right, All right. So for some reason, uh, OBS keeps crashing, so I'm just gonna go from here. And um, the user that txt file is on public, and if we go back to users. As you can see, if we run dir, the simple dir, um, we only have administrator in public. But if you run dir minus ah, which uh, show us the hidden file, we can get administrator, administrator, all users, default, default user, and so on. So if we go to all users, um, like this, we can find a lot of other users. And the, inter the one that's most interesting is Basler. So we go to Basler, this is the directory, and we find PRTG network monitor. So we go there, PRTG network monitor. All right, so what do we have in here? So as you can see, we have four uh, PRTG configuration files, but the one that's uh, relevant to us is this one PRTG configuration all dot back. So how do we download it from it FTP? Well, we have the command So we copy the name We put it in quotes So we get the correct file name without me putting the, the this uh, character back the backslash between spaces and We mentioned the file name that we want to save it as on our local machine So we run it like this, prtg all the back. And if you hit enter, I already have it, uh, but doesn't matter. Uh, it worked. Okay. So we go back to the. Actually, I'm gonna create a new terminal. I'm gonna open a new terminal, and yeah, I'm just making sure that OBS is still working. Um, we have prtg dot all the back. So how do we find anything relevant here? Well, all right, so we run strings on it. So how do we find the admin? Well, we say control find, control dot F and admin, enter. One more time and we find the user admin and the PRTG password, which uh, is, isn't is actually 2018, but it's 2019. So we'll change from PRTG at DMIN 2018 to PRTG at DMIN 2019. All right, so the OBS keeps on crashing, I think because of the AirPods, so I've switched to the MacBook uh, microphone, sorry for that. And basically we're gonna log in using the PRTG admin username. And as I mentioned, the password will be PRTG admin 2019, not 2018. So we hit login. And if we go around, we don't really find anything interesting whatsoever. So the thing that I've done, I did after it, this is, uh, I've used search, I've said search ploid on PRTG. And search ploid finds exploits for the given name that you, you give it to, to it so 
we will we will basically use this one uh, network money PRGT network monitor 18.2.38 authenticated remote code execution and the path to the file is this one plus this one but I have it here as exploit.sh and what it needs is look it needs the IP address of the I mean the URL of the um, the URL of the website and the cookies because it will have an octopus cookie so how I'm gonna get it well if we go back to the PRTG it um, I can I can uh, right click on it so I need to do control that U to see to see the view source and then inspect the element and then we go to network reload if you go to cookies we have octopus and all this and we copy this we copy all like that and edit he edit it here like that equals to this and then copy it and as I mentioned I have the exploit.sh here so I'm gonna say exploit.sh minus u and we mentioned the url 10 10 10 152. Um, yeah basically if we go back um this is the cookie of the admin user so this is why it's working this is why it's gonna work and we says when we say minus c and the cookie uh yeah i got one more code here a mistake and we hit enter and it's gonna create for us a samba uh, send by username and password and I'm gonna show you how to log in with them yeah it says here login to the app default creds once authenticating grab your cookie and use it with the script yeah so it's gonna create us a new user with the username pentest and the password pentest and uh, exclamation mark Right, so the exploit worked, and how we gonna you how we gonna log in? Well, we say there is a in 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 packet in packet uh, pc exec this script. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Um, well, we use it and we say ps exec .py. I have it here. Uh, yeah, it gives us the instructions, but I know how to use it. So we say ps exec.py uh, user pen test uh, quote a uh, double point uh, and we copy the password this password around the 10 10 10 152 oh sorry my bad uh, <laughs> it needs quotes the password needs quotes because it has uh, the uh, exclamation mark and it should work probably yeah it works all right so we will say who am i uh, authority system we go to users and administrator yeah so and we've got yeah if we go to desktop we find the root.txt file here so that was it um sorry guys for the for the microphone uh, quality i i'm at home now for holidays and i'm recording with uh apparently the microphone from the laptop so i don't know how the sound is going to be but hopefully not that bad uh, thank you for watching and i'm gonna see you next time guys uh, as always please subscribe and follow me around the journey of the oscp see ya